I am very much team human. Well, hello. This is Mistress Elvira's Night of the Damned. In which we'll be talking about all the delights of the undead. I think humans are more interesting than any possible supernatural creepy creature of any kind. Sarah is completely team vampire and I'm completely team human, yet we're in sympathy with each other when we were writing that book and headed in the same direction and, and very much into making each other laugh. Justine has that little vampire prejudice, so we had a few arguments about that. For another, I live in Ireland, and she lives in Australia, and sometimes America, because she's glamorous. Which meant we had time differences. And how did I solve that? Vampirism! A lot of the books we've been reading, it was all about, you know, the girl desperately in love with the guy, and, and she had no friends, or she didn't treat her friends very well, and they're kind of in the periphery. So we wanted to write a book where, where the friendships were up front and center, and every bit as important as the romantic relationships. One of the things we decided would be kind of cool would be if vampires uh, can't laugh, if they can't cry. There has to be a cost to vampirism. Otherwise, everybody would be vampires. Everyone would do it. There's no downside. You live forever. You're super hot. So you drink a little blood every now and then. You know, like your steak a little rare. The whole world would be vampires, and they'd be kind of gnawing on their own wrists a little bit. But other than that, things would be cool. Of all of them, I'm probably most like Mel. Just we're both, you know, sporty and really, you know, we like to work out. Some people are into sports. Justine is actually, and I don't get that. And Sarah's probably most like Kit, um, because I sometimes think Sarah was born on a different planet. Eat you. Oh, no. Kit was raised by vampires, but he's trying to be human and doesn't quite know the rules. I can never go out with a vampire. Vampires are not sexy. Of course I would. I'm very open-minded. I would date almost anyone who made me laugh. You know, you know when you've been inside and you're all warm and you know it's a lovely winter's day and your sister or your a friend of yours comes into the house and they're really cold and they deliberately put their cold, horrible hands on you? That is what it would be like dating a vampire. And consider this. Vampires would have many interesting stories to tell you about their past, would be able to recount for you historical details in well detail. They would have cold hands, cold feet, cold nose. I'm imagining a cold tongue and I'm sorry that's just not sexy. And in 50 years, you know, I'm not trying to be shallow about this, but the fact you could still bounce a quarter off his abs wouldn't be any real hardship. They're cold. They're cold and creepy. Also dead. I, you know, call me old-fashioned, but I just don't find dead very sexy. So sorry. Team human here. Team Human is about saying, give vampires a shot, give humans a shot, give zombies a shot. You know, no, don't get really within reach of them because they, they will bite you. We hope there's something in the book for everyone. Unless you're a leprechaun fancier, there are no leprechauns. Sorry about that, leprechaun fanciers. <laughs>